here's meteorologist Tom Atkins, your weather authority. And we take a look uh, at our camera tour on the Bayfront Kurz Tire Corner Camera. We'll give you the full meal deal of live cameras throughout the area. Pick about four or five of them for you here. We'll uh, go from there to Conneaut Lake and Crawford County where the theme is the same, folks. Uh, it's cloudy gray skies. Occasionally you get some flurries or perhaps uh, some raindrops. Conneaut Lake over to Edinburgh, Sam Catania painting camera there. Uh, dry pavement, gray skies, not a whole lot going on. G-Town, Girard, back up in Erie County. East side, lighthouse camera, also, of course, in Erie County. And Enja, with a couple more down to Crawford in Meadville, as you take a look at Chestnut Street. And finally, across the Allegheny River, as you take a look in downtown Warren on our quick fill cam. So uh, that's the way it is as we go through the evening hours and overnight. And as we switch on into the radar and satellite, you can see the clouds just abundant here. So that's not going to break anytime soon. Uh, the snow flurries and rain showers have taken a break. Not that they were much to begin with, but you got another uh, area or two of them to the north and west. So no big deal for the next 24 hours as this model shows you in and out of light precipitation through the night and on into tomorrow, inch or less of accumulation each time period. Now, uh, temperatures went from 24 up to 34 for today, and they are going to get a little bit milder as we go into St. Patrick's Day. So as you look at the statistics, the almanac for ERI, uh, obviously well below normal uh, high temperature there, a little bit below normal low temperature there. And uh, snowfall, we're actually a little bit above average for the month because of what happened on Friday. And we are going to add to that as we go into tomorrow night and uh, Tuesday. But that lake effect situation Tuesday is going to favor the snow belts, not the city of Erie. So as you take a look at temperatures uh, ranging from 32 in Cory and Edinburgh up to 35 Niagara Pier, 37 in Fairview. Down in Crawford County, the range very similar. 34 to 37 degrees, and uh, out in Warren County and Venango, 32 to 35. So as we said, uh, just a little bit of snow showers, sometimes some rain showers during the day over the next 24 hours. But behind this, you can see the colder air. So let's put the model in motion for you, and you can see the radar echoes depicted you know, in and out of the area into tomorrow, more of a nuisance than anything else. Now, once this goes by, tomorrow night and we get into Tuesday, there's the northwest flow over the lake and you can see it's the inland snow belts along and south of 90 that bear the brunt of the most in the way of accumulation. Several inches there, but we got another 36 hours to pin that down. Some rain, some wet snow and fog tonight, obviously not doing that all the time. Uh, lows near freezing uh, along the lake shore. Edinburgh, Meadville and Franklin, rain snow at times, up to an inch of snow by morning. 26 to 29, mountains of Chautauqua Forest, McKean counties, again, snow showers up to an inch, uh, temperatures near 30. So for tomorrow, same old thing, some fog, some rain or snow showers, inch or less, 36 tomorrow night. Then it starts to pick up a little bit, one to three inches by morning, the three in the snow belts. So blustery, cold snow showers, lake shore squalls. Inland, Wednesday, a few morning flurries. Thursday, we start the warm up. St. Patrick's Day, no snow, actually showers and 50. And then we turn it around, more winter like weather, as we head into uh, the last weekend of winter, Saturday and Sunday, next weekend. Weather information 24 hours a day on the Your Erie to Go app. If I remember correctly, last year's St. Patrick's Day, the weather was pretty good. Yeah, I'm, I'm going to take a, a look at that. We'll, we'll visit that <laughs> okay. later tonight. All righty, Tom. Thank you very much. Okay, Brian. Coming up on Jet 24 